Hey guys, how are you today? Um, today we're in a, a special event called Remove. This is located near Paris. Um, and I'm just having a look because uh, there are great stuff happening here. Uh, it's actually a racetrack uh, and there is basically a lot of associations and um, providers of hardware and uh, you also have of course manufacturers wanting to sell their vehicles okay this is really cool now just behind me there's the this is the new ionic 5 just here yeah here oh, very nice one uh, so yeah plenty of new vehicles as well so this is the first one i see one plenty of teslas and everything of course um they are given test drives around the track so they are sports car they are retrofit as well so uh, i'm gonna go around and try to show you a bit what's happening here um it should be quite fun I uh, hope we're gonna get something like this in Ireland because it really drag a lot of people. It's uh, it's like 9 a.m. this morning and it's already a lot of people. You don't see much, but it, there is. <laughs> um, all right, let's have a look now. I am here in the manufacturer corner. Um, you have here uh, DS. That's the DS9. DS9 is a plug-in hybrid uh, and it's a large car, it's almost 5 meters long, so it's a really long car. And just behind, that's the DS3 fully electric, same powertrain as the E208, E2008. I'm afraid DS is no longer in Ireland, they haven't said goodbye, but I've noticed their website is out, so I'm not sure if they're being sold or still a bit by Citroen. They used to be only in Dublin. Um, just behind, we have Ford. Ford has a bunch of um, plug-in hybrids. This is a little Citroen Ami that we see here. Um, so a bunch of plug-in hybrids. They are not too keen on fully electric vehicles. There's a Honda here, Honda here. Uh, so this one is available in Ireland, so you can get one of them. Um, of course, Audi. Um, you get the e-tron range. Um, this is a new one, it's a GT, it's a GT there, um, then Volkswagen is here as well, um, that's the ID4 and the ID3, so those you know, they are both available and quite popular, uh, good old Kia, uh, Kia, this is a plug-in hybrid, the Exceed, um, of course the Nero that you all know, Sorento plug-in hybrid, all those are available in Ireland, here we have Hyundai, uh, that's the Kona, that's the pre-facelift. Um, we have the Tucson hybrid, but I'm, hey, that's a, not a plug-in hybrid, I'm afraid. Um, there's another uh, Hyundai Kona hybrid behind that's not electric. And there's an Ionic behind Enago also. <laughs> this is a hybrid, not, uh, not a fully electric one. Peugeot is here. You can recognize the the blue, uh, kind of bluish logo there, that means it's an electric one. Uh, just behind there's also a fully electric van, so those are available, E2008, 3008 plug-in hybrid, 508 plug-in hybrid, all these are available. So the Ami that's unfortunately not available uh, in Ireland, but this is a super cool car, cost only uh, 7,000 euro on the road. EC4, uh, so this is nice, uh, we saw that as well a few months ago on the channel, uh, the EC4 has uh, again the same powertrain as the E208, E2008, and going to be in sale uh, very soon. And this is the C5 plug-in hybrid, uh, C5 Aircross plug-in hybrid. Here we have Renault. The Arcana is coming, but that's a regular hybrid. It's probably going to be in plug-in hybrid, uh, but not anytime soon. That's the Captur plug-in hybrid you saw on the channel soon. Of course, you saw the Zoe, and this is the super cool. That's one of my favorite EVs. That's the Twingo Electric. It looks like normal Twingo. Unfortunately, it's no longer in, uh, sold in Ireland uh, as petrol, and uh, uh, it is in electric only now in left and drive. So, unfortunately. We're not gonna get this one. This is a super anticipated Dacia Spring. Let's have a look if we can uh, get in there. Uh, 
a bit later. Um, the Countryman, uh, we have a review of that vehicle on the website if you want to see, um, as well as the Mini Electric. So you know those, you can get those. They are really, really nice vehicles. BMW is just behind. Now we have BMW. Uh, so those are plug-in hybrids that you know and we get. iX3 is now available for sale, so you can get one uh, in Ireland. So it's, uh, it's a pretty nice vehicle. Um, it's made in China, very interestingly. Uh, and yeah, that's the X3 that you know with an electric powertrain. I don't have the specs in, in in my head, so I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's a plug-in hybrid again. The X5. That's not M. <laughs> you see the tape on the on the plate. It's X Drive 45E. So that's a six-cylinder one. Here we have Opel, the Mocha E. You saw the video and the review on the website as well. Have a look at this. Uh, it's really funky in green. Uh, I really like it. The Corsa E as well. Uh, Corsa E based on the Peugeot E208. Uh, nice small hatchback. Uh, so you can get it for under 30,000 euro. And then you've got the Grandland X plug-in hybrid. You can get, I think it goes 300 horsepower. It's a really powerful vehicle. Um, that's based on the uh, Peugeot 3008. Uh, same platform, same powertrain. And then MG, you know MG, of course, we have them. This is the HS plug-in hybrid. HS, I think that's the name. And of course, here we have the ZS that you guys know. Uh, that is available as well for us. Something super cool here, EP Tender. Uh, so the EP Tender is basically a battery that you hook onto your car. It exists for quite a few years. I'm not sure uh, they managed to, to sell many of these, but basically you hook it up to a vehicle and it extends your range. Just an extra battery. Um, so that's good if you have a, a vehicle with a short range. But a, very, a bit of a difficult concept to, to sell, I suppose. Let's go back to here. Uh, we have lots of uh, <laughs> funky vehicles, like this is tricycle uh, with solar panels on the top. So you can imagine this to be quite good, quite good range of this. Uh, electric bicycles, of course. Look at that thing there. It's like a quadricycle. Um, it's like self-balancing. That's full electric, of course. It's nice, uh, small track. Um, and here, yeah, a lot of really funny ones. I can hear behind us uh, Tesla that's very hot. I think it's been around the track. <laughs> then we have uh, those as well and some uh, motorcycles. And I saw just behind, there is also um, the police. Uh, police is there, gendarmerie, with uh, Zoe. So we have the Tesla doing its its show with the Model X, of course. Again, the Yami, and yes, that's the the gendarmerie uh, vehicle. Uh, quite cool to have. Uh, to have the police uh, forces using electric vehicles and plenty of electric bikes here. Uh, well, France is a big market for motorbikes, scooters, etc. So it's quite interesting uh, to see this. And then we will have a look at some retrofit, not just for cars, but also for uh, mopeds. This is the Mackie from Ford. I missed that earlier when I blew my rounds. I did my rounds. Um, <laughs> it was in the corner. It was hidden by the plugins. Uh, sorry, it's it's off. You can't see that's big screen there with this button there. Oh yeah, you can see. That's cool. So yeah, um, here it starts at forty-nine thousand euro. It's really nice quality stuff there. I really like it. It's a uh, it's pretty nice vehicle. The quality is good all around. I like it very original, but this model in particular is almost 80,000 euro. So not cheap. 
uh, yeah, it's about, no sorry, 70,000, so that's 20,000 over the base price. And it might be um, a more powerful, bigger battery or something like this. Um, it's currently fake charging on Type 2 there. Uh, really nice color. Just going to show you this a bit further away. They have some fancy uh, handles there. You just uh, press the button there. Oh, no, the is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's been locked, locked in the meantime. All right. So those are the handles, and uh, it's a hatchback, which is cool. You want that? Thank you. Merci. There you go. And I would see on the back seats. It's large enough. Honestly, it's it's it feels larger than in the Model 3. Really nice roof there, and and it's it's really a quality product. I, I'm I'm impressed by this. You have like those soft touch materials there and cloth elements there. I'm just going to show you if I can. It might be pre-production. Looks like a US uh, version. Can we open the boot? Yes. Motorized lift gate and this huge boot there. I really like that. All right. So this is going to be available very soon. So this version is the E4X. I don't know. It's probably a trim, but anyway, seventy thousand euro. Mac E. That's the e-tron GT. Brand new, just out of the showroom, obviously. Really nice car. So that's the Taycan in a in a in an Audi shape. This is a really interesting place. The, those guys are called Noel, a bunch of young guys. It's really nice to see. They are retrofitting uh, moped um, Vespas and Solex. Solex used to be a very popular uh, French. Um, it's a moped, but with a cylinder on the front wheel, and you could pedal at the time to help it. It was doing about 30 kilometers an hour, very noisy. And the 7 million were sold, so it was extremely popular. And they do retrofit these for 499 euro with installation. Uh, so it's really good. That's 34 kilometers uh, of range. Same weight, same balance as uh, the original one. And uh, they, they are really cool. And they, they look really normal. And they just take three hours to, uh, to retrofit. There's actually a guy behind. He's actually doing uh, a transformation. You can see in the background there. He's doing a transformation right now. And they're going to do another one just behind. Um, you could see it in the back there. It's a, it's a uh, 103, 102 from uh, Peugeot from 1971. It's going to take two hours to do. And for those, it's a bit more expensive. They do 60 kilometers of range. That's the blue one you can see there as well. Very popular in France, 102, 103 from Peugeot. And they are 899 euro, 60 kilometers of range. So, um, and yeah, that's a bit more. And then you've got the Vespa behind. And that Vespa is doing 100 kilometers an hour on electricity. It sounds a bit crazy, but yeah, they do Vespa as well. Um, I don't know the price, they haven't told me. But it's, it's a really cool uh, solution because um, they, they standardize this. So that's why the price could be so low because 499 or 899, including install, it's, it's I mean, it's, it's so cheap. It's cheaper than an electric bicycle and it does a better job because this is faster. Uh, this is about 45, this is 30 kilometers an hour. And uh, of course, it has to be insured and the paperwork here. But um, it's, uh, I'm really impressed. I didn't think it would be so affordable because a lot of people have um, 
in, in the garage somewhere, they have those hanging there and just doing nothing, and they could give them a second life, uh, which is really important uh, for a few hundred euros. Great ideas. Like those guys, they are called Noil, N-O-I-L, and they are around Paris. Have you seen a Nissan Leaf? Have you seen Alpha Leaf? This is a cut up leaf and it actually works. <laughs> they told me they did, um, they, bring, they brought it out of the, the truck and drove it all the way here. This is really nice. Alpha Cut Leaf. That's your master. You can get the master in Ireland, there are not many of them. Oh, and with the range extender. Cool. And this is actually um, from Vinci. A, Vinci is a, a motorway uh, provider, so they are actually patrol cars. This is the test uh, drive facility. Uh, you can see here. And here we have a few um, um, charge point solutions. So I had a look. Well, most of this stuff you know already, nothing crazy. There was one that I liked from DBT, uh, a solution that I didn't know of. It's actually a very slim uh, charge point there that you can see, this one here. And uh, uh, it is very narrow, about 40 centimeters narrow, so you can squeeze it between parking spaces. Um, and it does DC and AC, you can get 25 kilowatt DC. So that's, uh, that's really cool, um, yeah, I like that. Another thing that is quite sweet is this block that is red and gray. So let me tell you about it. Um, this is actually a charge point, mobile charge point. Um, it takes an hour, you can they bring this to whatever event you're doing uh, and in one hour, they will install plug and they can supply uh, whatever you need. So it's, it's a very flexible solution. The point is to get it. Um, that's a driving school. <laughs> this is a e France Cafe. That's an association of uh, EV owners, and they do have uh, that's a Kia Soul a driving school. Anyway, back to Paragon Mobility offering mobile charging so it's really cool because there are people here going around the track uh, all day long and they need to be charged somewhere so they just put this thing an hour plug it on the uh, on the supply of the location and and off they go and they can bring more they can bring less they can they can have it personalized to the the colors they can bring ac or dc it's written 22 kilowatt ac and 66 on dc you see cars plugged in here and uh, it's just here for the day really and then they're gonna unplug and go um, so that's uh, that's really cool for, for for events and they could even uh, why not put batteries in there if the supply is not strong enough this is possible as well uh, so it does the buffer so lots of things and this is actually uh, cars from owners and that's the name of this uh, event remove and that's the first time it was in uh, it was organized and it's organized by uh, the french federation of ev owners association so it's similar to ivoa and a bigger scale let's say but basically that's an association organizing organizing sorry all this so non-profit so they're doing a great job and let's have a quick look there at the track so you can you can get around and drive some cars. So they are um, uh, production cars you can get, of course, but you can also go in uh, another track with proper sports car. 
uh, racetrack cars. So you can see uh, BMW iX3, sorry, this is not very good from here, but that's an iX3 going around as well. The French Post. French Post have had EVs for so long. That's the Master, the Kangoo. This is the new Citroën van. I think it's called uh, the what's that? The Traveler. I'm sorry, I don't even know the name. E Jumpy. Sorry for that. That's the Jumpy Electric. So you can get that as a Peugeot, as an as an Opel version as well. Um, and they have this really cool stuff for cities. We need this in Ireland because. They can carry quite cool stuff. You know, it's not small in the back. You can, you can carry a lot of things and they are very narrow. They can stop, they can actually uh, well, stop very easily in, in cities. So I think in Cork and Dublin and other cities for very short uh, routes, it's, it's really great because they have stability. They don't need, it's not a two wheel, it's three wheel. So it's still narrow enough. And uh, the only thing is, yeah, you're, you're exposed to the elements. That's, that's the only thing, but otherwise it's called stabby. <laughs> Take a stab at this. <laughs> All right, uh, let's keep going. A uh, couple of uh, race cars here. There's this one, and we have here uh, this Beltoise e-technology. Uh, here's the race driver, racing driver. Um, as you can see, 294 horsepower and uh, 46 kilowatt hour battery thank you guys this is actually charging at the moment in ccs you see uh, ken power uh, mobile dc charger it's charging at 30 something kilowatts and it's plugged on the on the ac on the back some red plugs there so yeah this is uh this is quite cool look at that so these are going around the track and here people can buy uh, tickets and get uh, a lap as a passenger. So that's really cool to see that uh, in, in the racing industry, uh, EVs are taking over as well. Of course, it needs a bit of juice before the next set of laps. A couple of Zoe's charging here, of course, and in the back, we have the Fiat 500. The Fiat 500 is sold in Ireland, so uh, you can get one. It's quite sexy. It's really fun. Uh, maybe not in black. The black is not the color that uh, puts its line in uh, value. So yeah, the new logo in the back. So this is actually very popular in France so far. It's in the top 10. It sells off electric vehicles and it sells better than something like the 83 or the 84. Really popular. Uh, Zoe behind that are everywhere here. They're not very interesting, right? <laughs> um, then here we have another a few uh, charging uh, infrastructure solutions and retrofitted Porsche 924, 944 and we have uh, MX-5 here. Uh, you can get this um, homologated now in France. Cost about 250,000 euros. Yes, you heard well to homologate one vehicle, but you homologate the series. So if you're making 10 of them, then you divide the cost by 10. So if you have a long, um, a big production you want to do, then you're good. And that's what they want to do here in this country is to have maybe popular vehicles and they can do hundreds of them and then it cuts the cost of the of the conversion uh, and here we see again uh, the driving school uh, Kia Soul this is cool um, again in France some re something really nice happened is that you can get a driving lesson a driving uh, test and driving lessons for um, automatic vehicles but you might say yeah you can only drive automatics yes it's true you can only drive automatics but uh, in the future probably it's gonna be enough but if you want a manual then you just do um, a few more hours and you get your uh, automatic license converted into a manual license 
and the good thing about it is not more costly than getting uh, a manual driving um, license in the first place. So it's a great way to get people on the wheel uh, of vehicles and, you know, electric, you know, that's the way forward. And, uh, you know, kids in 10, 20 years, that's, they're going to learn how to drive anyway, are, are going to drive probably electric vehicles all this time. So it's great to have the, the legislation ready for this. Um, so it's cool to see some driving schools uh, offering uh, electric vehicle as a the track has a couple of um, Tesla chargers, but look, there's a couple of interesting ones here. Uh, you've got a Zero SR, Zero Motorcycle. They are, they are, they are green up. So th this is like a Shuko. Uh, this is Shuko, but it's a bit stronger. I think it's 14 amp. Um, so um, it's it's a popular option for people who want to spend the money in a in a in a 3.6 or 7.2 kilowatt chargers. And just next, there is a Peugeot Partner. This is a, a, a passenger version, so it's five-seater. Uh, it's it's not a great EV because this, I think it's 27 kilowatt hour battery. It has been produced for a couple of years, not very popular. But the funny thing is, so they are charging on AC right here. Um, so yeah, that's normal actually. Is it type two? Is it it's nice, it's type one. This is crazy. This is type one with the luck. If you had a Nissan Leaf first generation, you were doing this, the padlock on it. And uh, <laughs> and this is really strange. And also it has, yes, a Chademo here. Um, so And that was an option. So Chademo and type one, it feels like something from a Leaf, right? An, uh, an early Leaf, no, but that was sold between, I think 2018 and 2020. Strange vehicle, uh, not many sold and big discounts on them, but yeah, they exist, they are here. And here we can see a lot of interesting vehicles, just a E208 here, uh, it's not a test line, of course, you know, E208s and stuff. Uh, that's the that's the car park for visitors, so hopefully a lot of ICE drivers that uh, are going to move to EV soon. I hope you like this uh, this day here at the remove uh, event and that maybe you learn a couple of things and maybe some things that we can get uh, in Ireland soon. Leave us a comment as usual and uh, we we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.